ice tsunamis, also known as horizontal avalanches, are far less official. Technically, they're called ice pushes, which have little in common with tsunamis or avalanches. Ice pushes can be caused by wind, ocean currents, and tides. On inland lakes, it's mainly wind and ocean currents. Even on the Great Lakes, tides rarely exceed a few centimeters, but they can slightly exacerbate ice pushes. To a lesser extent, ice shoves can also be caused by the thermal expansion of ice as it warms up, but this requires a completely frozen lake surface. Free-floating ice will expand in the direction of least resistance toward open water. Under the right conditions, the ice sheet can be driven with enough force to ride ground on the shore where it fragments and tumbles as it's shoved from behind. Ice can advance several meters beyond the shoreline. This sequence of events vividly unfolds in the video. By comparison with the people, that ice sheet appears close to two feet thick. Its surface area is not fully visible, but it must be extensive to generate the forces involved. An ice shove is at once amazing and ominous to observe, especially if you have a cabin near the shore.